Grifter asks us, how do you record your video? Well, this video I'm recording on my Logitech webcam. It's an HD 720p, and sometimes I'll use that when I'm doing a face vlog. You know, especially when I, when I want this, you know, great scenery behind me. Yeah. Now, going all the way back to 2006 when I started at YouTube, my first camera was a PowerShot, a Canon PowerShot. It was the predecessor to the SX line of cameras. And it had a flip screen, so you could turn it around like a camcorder, which is very handy. You know, you know, you know when you're on screen when you're doing that, so that's great. And I used that for a couple of years. Shortly after uh, acquiring it, I got this camcorder, Panasonic SDR H200. It's not an HD, but it has a Oh, it does a widescreen and it has a 40 gig hard drive which as it turns out several years ago crapped out but it has an SD card slot so with a 32 gig card in there it's, it's just as good and it's handy it has great audio um, great wind filter and actually better than any of my other cameras including my digital SLR so sometimes I'll use it as a microphone you know it's like a second camera and uh, I'll rip the audio out of that to substitute for the audio in my videos and yes that means editing but I'm not afraid to edit I mean I edit my um, poetry vlogs you know even though there was stills um, I edit those and sometimes if I want a voiceover I'll use this and I'll rip the audio out of it and use that as a track it's as I said it's not HD the 720 by 480 or 640 by 480 if you recall, going all the way back to the beginning of YouTube, I think it was like 320 by 240 was the most largest you could upload, which is what my first camera was. Now, the SX3 that I replaced that Canon with had the flip screen again, and it did larger format, obviously. And then I replaced that with an SX20, which would do 640 by 480, but it also would do a 720p. So I used that for many years, up until this past fall when I got my digital SLR which is a Canon T3i it's a 600D it's, uh, it's 18 megapixel so I make some big files it does 1080p 720 it does 640 by 480 and I'll bounce back and forth between formats depending on well the format I want or what kind of re resolution I want if I'm doing an outdoor video I want a higher resolution you know to get that scenery in so I'll do a 1080 and even what editing is going to be you know in compression is going to be a large file so I'll, I'll put those on YouTube and then embed them I'm sure you've noticed that lately most of my videos are now I'm just getting into the habit because Ning is going to require embeds only you know so I'll make my vlogger heads YouTube videos and embed them so yeah that's pretty much what I use I also oh I forgot about this phone videos and I started with my HTC a few years back maybe three or more years ago and now I have a Razer Max which I've had for a couple years and this Razer Max does uh, 1080 720 does some great resolution and um, when I started doing that back three years or so ago I refer to them as Andy goes I would go places with my son and daughter Andy goes maple syrup testing or Andy goes to kazoo factory <laughs> Andy goes kayaking you know taking the phone in a kayak yes yes actually rolled the kayak with the phone fortunately I had a replacement plan <laughs> Ooh, yeah so uh, yeah you know so hi when uh, if you go back probably three years or so ago when I started them, you know, Andy goes and I put the droid, droid at the end, nothing to do with my hand, but you know what I mean, the droid logo. And sometimes when I do a car vlog with that, I will still remember to put that at the end. Yeah, getting lazy. Although I do like editing, I like that as much as making the videos themselves. Um, I have uh, some inexpensive small cameras that I've played around with. I have a Kodak mini if you recall Steve morphine showed us this many years ago it was available at Kmart for like 30 or 40 dollars so I picked that up and played with that 
took that in a kayak. It's watertight, it's not water resistant, but you know, I was a little more comfortable with that in the kayak. And uh, my latest small camera, it's inexpensive, but it's pretty nice, it's pretty cool. It's a 720p, it's an HD, it's a sharper image camera. It's in a watertight case. Um, so I've taken it kayaking, a couple of different um, mounting systems, put it on your bike, and I've adapted it so I can put it on my kayak. The microphone is inside the case, so you don't pick it up like you do with an, uh, a GoPro, you know, uh, a Hero. But, you know, I actually thought about getting one of those. But then I thought, how often am I going to use this? No, I'm not. So I put the money into my digital SLR instead. So, but this thing is fun to play with, really. I, I made up a little clamp system to put it on my kayak. And I've actually attached it to the front of my car. Now I have to tighten the mount up a little bit because there's there was jiggling, but that's going to be fun to play with. I, I I'm, can't wait for some nice weather to, to try that out. So yeah, that is what I do for my video recording for my blogs. So thanks, Grifter, for asking that question. It got me on camera. I'm not. I go through stages. I guess I haven't been doing that much lately. Oh, yeah, and by the way, congrats, Grifter, on your 900th Vloggerheads video. You are a vlogging fool. But then, aren't we all? Ciao, folks. Vlog on.